Can you guys imagine Andy Mientis as The Flash? Yeah, we can either. Season 2 of Arrow introduced Grant Gustin as Barry Allen, but there were so many other actors who were considered for the role. Here they are. Rita Ora Now, this one is just a rumor, so we're going to mention it really shortly. According to some people, Ora was considered for the part of Iris West. We don't know about you, but we simply cannot imagine her playing the part. Candace is beyond perfect for it. Do you guys agree? Andy Mientis Andy Mientis auditioned for the role of Barry Allen while talking to Collider, he said that his audition didn't go really well. According to him, he got great feedback that said he's not quite the right fit for Barry, but we really like him. He's really interesting. He then took the role of Hartley Rathaway, aka Pied Piper, and he appeared in The Flash Season 1, then in Season 2, and playing a new post-crisis version in The Flash Season 6. Mientis said that when he read the script, he knew it was a good fit for him and he really liked it. It was a character that I wanted to see and knew I would enjoy as a viewer. So it was then somebody that I wanted to embody. I'm really glad it worked out, he added. However, it's interesting to imagine Mientis as Barry Allen. Ciara Rennie According to the producers, casting the role for Iris West was one of the hardest roles to cast. They did see Candace initially, but they also considered Ciara Rennie for the role. Also, there were many other actresses who auditioned for the role, but we're going to talk about them later. The reason Candace got the role was that every other actress looked too young next to Grant. As the creators of the show said, when looking for an actor who'll play someone's love interest in a show, the most important thing is the chemistry between the on-screen couple. So, when they looked at Candace's audition tapes, they saw how she shines when she smiles. Everyone in the room and looked at each other, and we all just knew it just made total sense," said the creator. Bradley Cooper Back when The Flash was about to be filmed, Cooper was considered to play the legendary speedster. Bradley also auditioned for the part of Green Lantern, but Ryan Reynolds took that part. It surely hits weird when you think of Cooper playing The Flash since the roles in his career are… Um, a bit different. But hey, that doesn't mean that he wouldn't be able to play a superhero. What do you guys think about Bradley Cooper playing The Flash? Let us know in the comments. Also, smack that like button if you haven't done so already. Keenan Lonsdale Keenan Lonsdale did appear in The Flash as Wally West, but he was originally meant to play a whole different character. In an interview with Tech Insider, he said that he originally auditioned for the Flash spin-off series, Legends of Tomorrow. According to him, shortly after he did this audition, they called him and they said they wanted him to come in and audition for Wally West on The Flash. He was more than pleased with this, the spin-off series joined plenty of characters from both The Flash and Arrow together with many new faces. Keke Palmer Keke Palmer has a role in Fox's entertaining horror comedy Scream Queens, but prior to getting this role, she was considered to play Iris West on The Flash, a role that Candace Patton eventually got. I think we're too early on in the process to cast her, so we ended up testing Keke Palmer and this other girl but they felt a little too young next to Grant, casting director David Rappaport told BuzzFeed. Justin Hartley Many other actors were considered for the role of The Flash. This makes sense since it's a pretty significant role in the show. Back in 2013, actors like Justin Hartley, Michael Rosenbaum, Smallville, Gabriel Mann, Revenge, and Devon Sawa were all assumed for this part. The one that caught our attention the most was Justin Hartley. Hartley has quite the history with DC Universe as he played the Green Arrow on Smallville. Hartley is mostly known for his role in This Is Us, but he's quite the talent for superhero roles, and we can't help but wonder how different the show would have been if he got the role. What do you guys think about that? Let us know. Oh, it's more than certain that Grant Gustin is perfect as The Flash, and we can't wait for the upcoming 8th season. Michael Rosenbaum Michael Rosenbaum portrayed the iconic Superman villain for seven seasons of Smallville's 10-year run. In fact, he extended his six-year contract by one. After that, he continued his career playing more complicated roles that perfectly portrayed how talented the actor is. He also appeared in the 2011 series Breaking In, then in Impastor. What most people don't know is that the actor was among one of the first choices for The Flash. However, that didn't work out. And we're kind of glad since thanks to that, Grant Gustin took the role. But as we said, the actor built his career in a very interesting way. For instance, in Impastor, Rosenbaum plays Buddy Dobbs, a person with a gambling debt that is being harmful to his health. Because of this, 
He's ready to end it all by jumping off a bridge. However, he's saved by a young gay priest who, while doing so, plunges to his own death. Then, Buddy needs to take the Reverend's identity and move to the small town the priest was elected to. What happens next is Buddy getting a whole new life. It's really an amazing story and we recommend you watch it. Gabriel Mann Grant Gustin has played Barry Allen for almost a decade on The Flash and as we previously said, so many actors auditioned for the role including Gabriel Mann. Created by Robert Kaniger and Carmine Infantino, Barry took up the superhero cape earlier held by Jay Garrick in the 1940s, so he's the second iteration of the character. But his career took an amazing turn thanks to the Scarlet Speedster. Gustin first appeared as Barry Allen in Arrow Season 2 Episode 8, The Scientist, when he came to help Oliver Queen, Stephen Amell, in working on a metahuman-related crime. The Flash quickly became one of the CW's most prosperous shows of all time, also being the start for Legends of Tomorrow. Jeremy Jordan Jeremy Jordan is mostly known thanks to the Arrowverse as he plays Wynn Scott in Supergirl. Jordan first appeared as the character in the pilot episode and continued for many seasons after the show was moved to the CW. Supergirl turned his character into a hero in his own right. But way before his superhero career, Jordan was considered for the role of Barry Allen. And in fact, he was, according to some rumors, in a very tight competition with Grant Gustin. Jordan rejected the role since he wanted to focus on family and other projects he thought were much more important. And that's how the role went to Gustin instead. Maybe Jordan was not aware of the success this role would bring him, or maybe he was, but he wasn't ready for the commitment. Either way, we thank him because if he accepted it, Gustin wouldn't be able to display his talents in the role he got. EW shared plenty of pieces of information about the casting in The Flash and according to them, Gustin was the first person that casting director David Rappaport thought was perfect for the role. But he continued the search in case someone better would appear. According to Rappaport, Gustin was this affable, dorky, charming fun dude, so he just called him and told him he was in. Also, Amel just knew that Gustin was the perfect actor for the role. With seven seasons and the upcoming eighth one, we simply cannot imagine someone else playing the role. What do you guys think about the casting decisions in The Flash? Do you think some of these actors would have been a better choice for Barry or Iris? Let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed our video, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel so you never miss any of our videos in the future. As always, thanks for watching.